Next, we risk life and limb by travelling to Cape Clear Island, which lies nine miles off the Cork coastline. Here we meet Ed Harper, a goat farmer who was left blind after a childhood accident. We have my guide dog, Izzy, who's a German Shepherd. And we have three cats, and we've also got the goats. You can work a guide dog over pretty well anything. And I, I used to have the balance. <laughs> got that one wrong. Ed's cats are surrounded by beautiful scenery. If only they could enjoy it. Occasionally, I'll sit down here on this, this water trough and I'll listen to the scenery because, do you know, like, there's birds, there's the sea, there's the wind, you know, there's all that kind of thing, there's the animals. The years spent listening to nature has taught Ed to speak to the animals. <coughs> Come on, then. Come on, kids. <coughs> <coughs> There's several, several different sort of calls that goats have, and it depends what you want them to do. I mean, there's a noise that the mothers make, um, which means stay close, and they go, eh, 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 like that, and it works. I mean, you do that, they'll stay close to you. But the, the general kind of call for, you know, sort of come on from a, a distance is basically something like, eh. I have a, a small amount of cat and, and a small amount of pigeon. And actually, they're, they're very related. Oh, and, 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 well, a tiny bit of raven as well. It pays to keep in with the, the people who are liable to kill your kids if they're born outside. So you have to be able to talk to the ravens as well. They go sort of... But pigeons, they go something more like sort of... But again, it's a long time since spring, so I'm not speaking fluently at the moment. And the cats, it depends on the cats. I notice this. It's a thing they do, and especially they, they do it to the kittens. They sort of go... It's, it's a funny noise because it's not like the usual meow they do at us. It's a sort of... It ha it's a sort of a broken... It's, I say it's a bit related to pigeon, funnily enough. They sort of go... And uh, it, 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 you know, tends to work. When not listening to the sounds of the sea, the goats are serenaded by Ed. Well, good night, friends one and all. I just thought I'd make a call, for I love to see a crowd of happy faces. You like all the goats, and obviously, occasionally you like one more than another, but I'd say the one that I cared about most and who cared about me most was a goat called Elsie, and she died in 2010, sadly. It all started one morning. I was really, really upset, but I had to go milking, so out I went. And that's the first time that Elsie suddenly seemed to twig that I was really upset. When we'd be in the milking parlour, if, if I was, you know, sad or upset or whatever, she'd put her head out and she'd rub my cheek with her cheek. You know, it was a very deep emotional attachment. Yeah, i go as far as saying that the two of us loved each other. I'm going to have to get out of farming sooner or later. I can see what's going to be happening, really, is I'll be spending more time on the mainland, less time on the island. But I don't see me not coming back here. I've spent 36 years here now, and that's more of my life than I've spent anywhere else. I just love the island. And I'm a member of that multitude of labour.